Hello YouTube, welcome to Stormy, Ohio. It is warm today. Uh, it's not hot. 60. Yeah, it's not, you know, if we were in Vero Beach right now, it'd be almost 90. <laughs> what have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. We want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding. We've been very happy with this mattress. Actually, it's our second mattress we uh, received from them. Uh, the first one, a mm, little tall. You see us unboxing it here. Just wasn't quite right for us. Just a little bit warm and a little on the heavy side for the RV. Uh, so uh, we took advantage of their 120 night sleep trial. 120 nights, that's four months. And uh, let them know what we were experiencing. Um, in our case, in our situation, we um, were, it was just a little warm. It was just a little warm for us. Uh, I think that had to do with the area also uh, that we were keeping it in. But um, uh, mentioning here 10 year warranty, because once you do find a good one like we have now, you don't want to get rid of it. And you definitely want it to last as long as possible. But we ended up getting another mattress instead of that first one. It was a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller um, in height. It was something that was similar to the one we had prior. But by far, you can see it's a Dream Foam Hybrid, uh, by far, way better than anything that we've had in the past. This is great. This has been a spectacular mattress. It's perfect. You know, I, I don't know why anybody would want anything else, you know, above and beyond this, unless it's adjustable. Maybe you need an adjustable mattress. But other than that, oh, by the way, we have now increased the percentage off on your mattress 25% off is what you get now with the code daydream so visit rvmattress.com slash daydream and you'll get 25% off it's a win-win situation made in the USA free shipping and again that 10-year warranty you can't go wrong please try them out if you're looking for a mattress you're going to be happy but we 70 would be too cold in Vero Beach <laughs> yes it would be we'd be freezing <laughs> Um, the rain's just getting ready to start to fall here. We've got high winds that are supposed to come through. Again, we lost power the other night for 13 hours. Yeah. Which is kind of odd because our house that we lived in out in the country, kind of, um, in our township, um, we hardly ever lost power there. But there was, oh, bless you. There was a lot of, uh, nice, there was a lot of um, wind damage here. Lots of trees down. People were without power for a couple of days. Yeah. So, another storm moving through kind of the same way. We don't know what that's going to look like. Um, we've just got finished with a few reviews. Um, you know, we have a steady address now. Uh, that's why we have so many reviews coming up. Um, that's something that was really difficult for us to do while we were on the road. So, a lot of people are like, man, you're really pouring on the reviews. Yeah, because we've been putting off the reviews. It's hard to, like I said, unless you're... You know, like in our case, we're moving every three weeks. It was hard to find uh, a location that we could, you know, tell the people, yeah, go ahead and send it to this address. And it is the season of bikes. It is season of bikes. We wanted to give you an update, though, covering our, and we're not going to give you all the details as of right yet. Um, we're, it's kind of a quick hitter. <laughs> um, first of all, you're going to see in the reviews uh, coming up, like in the past, uh, video that we did um that our truck is gone i mean we we got rid of the truck we didn't we didn't need the big truck to drive around town it would yeah, so it'd be nice to have i i don't i but we, i but, don't agree with that 100 percent. well it would be nice to have nice just to, to have. have yeah but we we we're weren't not using doing that kind of we wouldn't be using it we'd be abusing it and we i would hate it <laughs> i would hate the fact that i would be using that truck as a daily driver and Never know, it might already be a daily driver for somebody else. Probably. <laughs> Meet the uh, new member of the family, uh, Rusty. It oh, is Rusty. red. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Rusty. Um, we just wanted something that we could haul our furniture, um, which we'll talk about. Uh, haul the e-bikes. That was the main concern, hauling e-bikes from storage uh, from this location. Um, just to have a truck. We needed a truck. So that's what you see back there. And of course, we still have our Kia. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so now to address what seems to be one of the most common aspects 
of our comments from people have in their mind that they're telling us all oh, so sorry. Oh, that's sad to hear. Um, oh, man. I knew you guys would not be able to last out there on the road. So you're broke now. <laughs> if Heidi would let me, I would show you my bank account right now. And you'd go, uh, what? But you know what? I say it's none of your business. It's none of your business. <laughs> we we have. We don't know what your bank account looks yeah. like, and we're not asking. <laughs> yeah, we have. And I know we're sharing. We're sharing on YouTube. You but guys we don't have are. To share but money. Yeah, it, we we have money. We're not broke. We appreciate. You know why we're not broke? Because you guys are supporting us on this channel by watching our videos, liking, commenting, uh, referring us to other people. Um, watching our reviews buying stuff whenever we're doing our reviews you're supporting us just fine um, I'll be honest with you the majority of the people that watch our review videos and purchase um, they're they're not subscribers they're elsewhere we have a few that subscribe but yeah that's we don't expect you to buy yeah. everything we share with you matter of fact you're going to see a commercial um, at the beginning of this video it's already been there yep. and that helps us with the channel and the fact that it's a good product I, we would never ever sign up long term for anybody uh, if the product wasn't really great we would never do a review on a product that we thought was just pure trash either um, some of the products that we review are better than other ones uh, or other stuff that we review but we would never, and we have turned down plenty of stuff. We get bombarded all the time to do reviews on things. And if it's something that's just, you'll never see it. You'll never hear about it. Why waste my time, your time, all that to hear about something that's horrible? I mean, there's another channel for that, and it's not ours. You need to go watch the channels that are loving to talk about the horrible aspects of everything. Uh, that's not us. We're not all rainbow and sunshine. We're just what's happening. Um, it's it's just what's going on. So for everybody that thinks that they need to give us some sort of a apology or, oh, I'm so sad to hear, or I knew you wouldn't make it out on the road, um, that's not the case at all. That's not the situation. But we plan on doing our RVing different this next time. We're not going to go into full time we are most likely going to snowbird and i'll be honest with you guys we have a tendency when we set our minds to stuff between the two of us as long as there's no big obstacles in the way we can get to that point really quick we can make it to where it happens case in point we came back here in february and when we came back up we had the proceeds from the sale of our fifth wheel and since February, so now we're at the beginning of April. I mean, it's April 1st right now as we're recording this. April Fools. <laughs> we have liquidated our truck. We have purchased the truck. We have done, I don't know how many reviews. And we are just a few days away from closing on a home since February. So all you guys are saying, oh, I feel so sorry. Let me know what you did these last two months. You know, did you change your lifestyle entirely? Did, did you, you see us crying? Did you see us crying? <laughs> Do you see us getting real skinny and we're destitute? We, are, we haven't a, missed any meals. <laughs> we have, we've, well, that's quite the opposite. Yeah, okay. We've been eating out a lot. Um, Plus so, our son-in-law, he's fattening yeah. us up too. Yeah, he's a good cook. So between Heidi being a good cook, him being a good cook, and all these restaurants that are local, uh, which we like, um, that's another thing in the location that we're at. We'll talk about that in the future, but... Um, yeah, we're we're not skipping meals. Um, we uh, we're not living here for free. You know, we're helping them out. We're giving them money. They, you know, they're young. They can use it. They, you know, so we're we're paying rent. We're paying rent. We're babysitting. Giving, and yeah, yeah, helping them around the house. I mowed yeah. the lawn for them the other day. Um, we did just we we bought them this mower uh, when we were out on the road because they had that mower back there <laughs> and it just wasn't cutting it anymore literally cutting it and um so it was getting into spring and we told them hey we'll have uh lowe's deliver you a mower so 
There you go. They, they got a mower there. Does that sound like we're broke? Uh, I don't know. Don't sound Maybe. like it to me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get it. So, guys, you can stop that whole pushing, prodding us. The uh, You guys are broke. I knew you wouldn't make it. I knew you're done with RVing forever. No. We, we, we're just looking for the right RV. We want to get back. We needed to, a change. We want to get back to what we did before. We, we want to have a lesser RV. We want to enjoy camping more. We really miss camping. Um, we were just living on the road. It was like moving our mobile home to another mobile home park. And I know there's different ways to live out there. But the thing was, is the RV, I, I felt it, it just was too much of a house, not as much of a camper. And it, 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 we were losing touch with what we like to do. Plus, now, we do accept your, uh, you know, um, prayers and stuff for our parents. Uh, you know, they've gone through. My dad literally just got out of the emergency room yesterday. Out of the hospital. Out of the hospital. Had pneumonia. Sorry, out of the hospital. And uh, his stepmom is, yep. she's pretty congested. She, she does not have pneumonia. Neither one of them had COVID either. Right. But they just had a virus that... Unfortunately, I hope we didn't bring to him. <laughs> and Heidi, she has her, you know, surgeries and stuff that she's going to have to go through too. So yeah, that part I understand. But oh, so sorry about you not being able to live on the road like you want to. That's not that's not the case. If we went to live on the road, we could. Now, the fact that we know that we're not going to travel the way that we did. Guess what else we did? We're liquidating, and this is something we're going to talk about: our thousand trails. Um, you guys. Buy those things used or new, depending on what you want to do. We bought ours new, and guess what? We got our money's worth because now that we sold it, we have actually made money on what we did as far as using it when we hit the road. Um, if you count what we paid for it versus what it would have cost us to stay in the parks that we did using the Thousand Trails membership, and what we got for it used, we made money on it. Um, and and I sold it. And, uh, oh yeah, I had it for sale. I sold it three days. Three days. <laughs> That's it. And we sold it through campground membership, but I posted it on Facebook. So camp, campground membership outlet. Yep. You know, we bought it new from Jim and Brandy. The links are in the description. They've been there for two, three years now. The links are in the description for where to buy it new where to buy used is also in the description for the last two or three years campground membership outlet make sure you mention rv daydream when you talk to either one of them and let them know that we kind of guided you towards that the thousand trails membership is still the best way to travel full time on the road hands down no other way it's the best by far so just look into it um, we're looking off in the distance because we're supposed to have potential slight or slight risk or elevated risk of of tornadoes today so it'll be interesting to see um but we wanted to let you know that we didn't get rid of it because we thought it was horrible no. um and don't we would actually oh, never know we might buy one in the future yeah might buy a camping pass or something but the, the whole idea behind these people that don't know or just have their one-sided view on things don't buy them used you can never resell them you don't get your money out of them who cares? Use it for the reduced price and that you buy it at, and you'll be just fine. Um, it works good. Again, I'm just looking off the distance because the, the wind's moving pretty good. The temperature has probably um, oh no, I can tell you what it is. It's dropped because a little bit because it was bit. 60 when we started. Yeah, it's 59. It, oh, it's, it's it feels it's not, cooler than that. But, well, it's because it's the rain. Yeah, the but wind. we have six uh, warnings. Yeah, six warnings out. <laughs> Welcome to Ohio. <laughs> No, we've but, seen that in Florida too. <laughs> yeah, but right, yeah, we went to hurricanes we've seen nine, there. I think at one time. But we wanted to to talk to you about this because we needed to give you an update. Um, I just locked it. Oh, door. okay. Heidi's car just lit up. I wonder <laughs> what was going on there. But we wanted to uh, try to clear the air on some stuff. Now, you guys, I'll tell you why. Because I know a lot of you probably can't wrap your head around. I don't understand. You were living on the road full time and just traveling willy nilly wherever you wanted to go. Um, you remember the song, uh, Pina Colada? Remember they say... Like a worn out recording of a favorite song. It's like listening to your favorite song uh, over and over again. And that's kind of the way it is. You love going out to eat. You like the experience of going out to eat. You know, at your local restaurant or whatever. 
But would you want to eat at that restaurant, you know, every, every day. day or every three days or, uh, you know, not explore any other restaurants? And even then, don't the restaurants just kind of blend in together? I mean, it's it, we can relate to eating out. That's why I mentioned this analogy. And, you know, it, it kind of ruins it. It's, there's sometimes you just want to have, in my case, hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill <laughs> just sitting at home. Well, that's kind of what we did when we were, you know, traveling all the time. We were having a great time doing what we were doing. It's just, it was, it wasn't, it just something lost. So there was some kind of interest got lost there. And um, I thought, why not just reboot, start over and, and get back to where we were at the beginning and reimagine what we could do. Now, I have a lot of people that have commented that just can't wrap their heads around this at all. And I understand why they just can't change. We don't have a problem with change. I don't have a problem tomorrow going and selling both cars and buying a Corvette. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, we could do that Woo! and I don't have a problem with it. Wow, that is a good wind gust. How much yeah. turn you around? So the whole idea behind us hitting the road and not really, uh, um, doing the things that we were doing before doesn't mean we got out of RVing. We are regrouping. You're going to see in the near future a house. Uh, hopefully it goes as smooth as we want it to. We don't want to jinx it, so we don't want to talk about it too much. But so far we think we've got a really, really great deal because we always look for deals. And we're thinking that it might be something that uh, you guys want to follow along with. Uh, as we do projects. That is a good wind gust there. Sound like a broken tree. We didn't, uh, ooh, we didn't, we weren't outside last Saturday. Yeah, we weren't outside and, the last time this did and, that. And uh, there was lots of trees down. Status trees. Yeah, we got trees that are breaking over there. Okay, so I switched to the phone. <laughs> Their backboard just fell down over there. <laughs> I switched to the phone from the uh, action cam uh, just because of uh, the action cam losing battery life. But wow, there was just trees cracking off in the distance. Uh, we still have power here. Now, that's the nice thing. We have our generator here. So we hooked up the refrigerator and everything. Um, so in case uh, power goes out again, we still have it. Uh, we didn't take it back to storage. But we used it for about 13 hours, right? Yeah. You had to run their refrigerator and uh, cook on the crock pot. <laughs> We're smart enough to know today we had our meals prepared uh, for non electricity if needed. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. This is some really good winds. Oh man, here it comes. I don't know if this picked up on the phone. I need to get out of the way just a little bit. Yeah, there is a box. No, they won't. Wow. Well, the good news is the uh, storms die. Now that I don't care for. Um, they only going to go about on an hour here. So, uh, but the high winds then are going to continue. No, is it out? I think so. Oh yeah, the street lights are off. Yeah, the power is out. Damn it! Uh, pull, push the button. What row? All right, I gotta, I gotta close the garage door, and uh, our daughter, only our daughter. Look at her car. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta pull the garage door, and then uh, we'll pick this up later. Kind of reminds me when we were at our place. I'd always start the video walking off the porch. So the rain came, it left, but uh, there's 16,000 uh, people without power right now. Yeah, see all these people walking up the street? I don't know if you can see them off in the distance, but I guarantee they're going to go see those trees that are down over the road. They gotta be. So I thought I'd take this time to show you my beast. Um, hilarious, right? So we got this thing for a song and a dance. 
Um, there was a guy out in Rootstown. He bought this thing to make him move back and forth between Youngstown and Rootstown, where his son was moving uh, to a house that needed refurbished. So that guy right there in that truck, he drives like a jerky. And just to give you an idea, because I'm the king of the jerky, he was doing over 55 miles an hour, because I was doing 55 miles an hour, trying to stay up with him. I couldn't believe it, because we haven't sped through any of these streets. <laughs> yeah, I was just doing that because I'm like, this guy, I know he lives on this street, Which... and he seems like he's moving a pretty good clip. I want to see how fast he's going. <laughs> I got up to 55, and I wasn't even coming close to him. You were pulling away from me. Yeah, and I was pulling away from her. Like, whoa. This truck's uh, beaten and battered. Uh, battered. Uh, the uh, rust is fair. Um, it's not bad. It's been bondoed up a few times, but it's just a plain truck. Crank windows. Uh, the air conditioning don't work. Not power mirrors. Like I said, power locks. None of that. <clears throat> I did buy a tonneau cover for it. Did I spend $1,300 on a rolling lock? Nope. But. We could have made the roll and lock fit on here. <laughs> Believe it or not, I installed it, and I told Heidi if I cut down the rails in the back that, that ran lengthways, I could have made it work. But she brought up a good point. We could sell that roll and lock, which we did, with our fifth wheel hitch. Yeah. So, anyways, we threw new tires on here. Uh, I already had brakes and stuff like that done on it. I uh, had to have a control arm, some bushings. Um, it did okay. We went to the junkyard, put a tailgate on. I'll show you that fine thing. Some of you guys like to see the truck part of the ass, you know, the, the show. So, yeah, look at the new tailgate. The red one's still in the back. It worked okay. It's just a little rusty. Um, he said that he towed his trailer. Uh, this will tow, just to give you an idea, even though we did not, this is not our forever truck. This isn't even our get us by truck for the next few years. This is our, we need to go haul a bunch of mulch truck. We need to go pick up uh, a refrigerator truck or furniture truck or this is uh, the roads are really salty truck and we don't want to take our nice vehicle out. This is just to, to get us from point A to point B. We have to have a truck. He and we wanted not the, gone long enough to do anything. We wanted the long bed. Yeah, this is the beast. Uh, it does have a V8. Oh, anyways, getting back to what I was saying, even though this isn't our all that stuff that I just said truck. Um, it will tow 7,000 pounds or 8,000 pounds. I can't remember now. It's got 355 gears in the rear. That's the lowest gears you could get in this truck as an option. <laughs> you could get like two, I don't remember what it was, something like 260s or something. I'm just looking at this big hole in the frame. This is made in the frame. This isn't, this isn't a rust hole. You can see there's surface rust on the frame, but nothing that goes through. This is actually less rusty than the truck that I had, uh, the 95 pickup that I had. Believe it or not, it's, chilly out here. it's starting to get chilly. What's the temperature now on your phone? I don't have the phone with me. Oh. It's so, got to be in the 50s. reason we're out here is because we don't have any power. Um, nobody has power right now in this area. And... 15,000 people without power. It is now 50 degrees. <laughs> so it dropped 10 degrees. Yeah, 10. Well, that's kind of our update. Um, we showed you the truck. We showed you um, what we're doing. We talked about what we're doing. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I think that was about it for this video. Yeah. Um, we'll have, hopefully, a lot more to share with you in a week or so. We, we're hoping. Yeah, we, if everything goes smooth. So we'll close out the video. But um, what we'll tell you is that... As a little teaser, the, other than our reviews, which you'll see a few of those popping up here, um, the next update that we do will be from our new no house, maybe? <laughs> we hope. So oh, stay yeah. tuned for that. If you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And uh, I do close it out. As we, always. We got we to gotta say it different now. As always, we hope to see you out there somewhere. Out there. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we used to say here, but we're not out here. We're out there. We well, we're out there. here. Yeah, we're here. Not we're out, not out there. there. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you guys later.